Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is the Metatron speaking and today we are here back with helmets. Um, this one here is one of my favorite, again probably my second favorite, and it's the Maximilian helmet. Alright, so um, what kind of helmet is this? Is it a medi medieval helmet? Not really. We are talking about Renaissance. Um, when we talk about the Maximilian helmet, first of all, why do we call it this way? Well, the first thing we need to say is that, as with many names for armors and weapons, the Maximilian helmet, or Maximilian type of armor, is a subsequent name. A, game, a name given lately, in modern era, to kind of distinguish it from the Gothic armor which was still German-made, because this is kind of a German style, although the rounded uh, version is probably influenced by Italian grandmasters, but it still is a German kind of helmet. So why is it called the Maximilian helmet? It is called like this because it takes its name from the Emperor, Maximilian I, some people say the second, but I stick to the first personally, um, who was the emperor of the Holy Roman Hem Empire, okay? He was, a, he was an Austrian, he was from Austria. And, and it gives this kind of helmet and armour its name. Um, but at that time it was just an armour, you know, um, and a helmet, a full closed helmet. Now, first of all, what are the characteristics of this helmet? Well, as you can see, um, the, it has a visor, right? So it's very, it really iconographic with the idea of the knight. Again, not really me medieval kind of helmet, it's more of a renaissance kind of helmet. Um, but there are many video games which use these kind of helmets. And so as you can see, the visor hinges up and that's the same actually for the side plates. Also these can be hinged to grant access to the helmet. Um, so in a way it is kind of similar or we could say it's an evolution of the Houndskull from the um, Middle Ages, um, which I have already talked about in another video. You can go and have a look if you want to. Uh, it's in my channel. And uh, so again, it has this kind of visor, but the visor is different from the one for, of the Houndskull or other medieval um, visors. Why? Because it's fluted, as you can see. Now, why was the Maximilian armor fluted because normally the whole armor would be fluted. Well, one of the reasons is that we need to understand what kind of weapons these helmets had to face. Because in the Middle Ages, mostly we had to face um, swords, normal swords, you know, long swords, broad swords, and all the bastard swords, and all these kind of swords, so cutting weapons, which normal plate perfectly prevents damage from. And then, obviously, warhammer, maces, which are a lot more effective against plate. Um, but then a new kind of sword was developed, and that is the tuck in English, um, stocco in Italian, which is a kind of sword which has almost absolutely no cutting edges, but it's very extremely pointy. So that sword was used to penetrate plate armour. Oh, no, well, it can penetrate plate armour, but in most of the times it would be used in those places in between the armour where you only would have chainmail. Hence, the development of full plate suits. So when we see, uh, which are more a Renaissance thing than anything, or late Middle Ages, depending on the style. So, um, so these flutes here, the fluting idea, uh, had two purposes. One was to deflect pointy weapons, okay? So this was one of the reasons. The second reason, although it may sound a little, well, not particularly important, was the looks. Okay, so remember, we are in the Renaissance, okay? So it looks good, it's in their style to have something effective and elegant at the same time. This is typically um, the typical mentality of the day anyways. So as you can see, we can open up easily the visor and we have very good vision, but still as a, a, a decent amount of protection here. It's very similar to a bever, if you remember those from the, from the salad. Um, so it's all within one piece of helmet equipment, headgear. So, very nice, very beautiful. I really like these kind of helmets. All right, vision as well. Um, it's quite good, not too bad. Well, you know, with closed helmets, you're never going to get perfect vision unless you open up the visors. 
But compared to a Greyhound, I considered this to have a, a lot, uh, you know, really better vision and better protection. Definitely an improvement from those. All right. So as you know now, it is wearing time. Alright, so as I was saying, when I open up, when my visor is hinged up, I, can, I have a very good vision, but I still feel protected. So this is definitely one of my favorite helmets as far as close combat and melee situations are concerned. And other than this, my voice sounds a little strange because I have a lot of metal here and obviously the voice impacts the metal, but I think I can still be easily understood by some, someone else. Um, then, obviously, when I close it up, I still have quite a good vision, particularly compared to other kind of helmets like this. So I can see, I can move, it is very comfortable and uh, yeah, I find it even lighter than other helmets because obviously those techniques, the, met the um, blacksmith, the smithing techniques were improving constantly. Alright then, I hope you enjoyed this video, there are many more coming up, I know that a lot of you have been waiting for these, so please Keep on um, watching my videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching. And remember, the Metatron has spread its wings. Thanks for watching.